Hello and welcome back to Mount Bell Zoo where we have today added a quite significant area to uh, this side of the zoo. There will be no progress today, just uh, review what we already have. Uh, well, it's just, it just happened this way that I've uh, built a big part and didn't have quite time to make it, uh, you know, make it a video during my progress. But anyway, um, this area is different to what we already have. Um, I went to more classical style because I think it suits well to the animal that we have added and uh, you probably guessed it, it's uh, greater flamingos. Yeah, I think this area clearly, clearly shouted flamingo all the way because we have the water and um, I, it, it was just uh, about time to make some lagoon, add some birds. So I think that uh, we managed to do it quite well. So um, let's see, mm, for this area we completed the corner. Um, I have added a little playground for the kids here. So um, we do have some uh, sand pit and uh, some um, other funny things for the kids. And um, I've completed a, a second uh, viewpoint for the bears so uh, it's pretty similar to what we already have i think this one is more of a landmark than the first one because there are no big trees around which is uh, certainly on purpose to make it really like um for the people to be drawn there which i think works very well so there are uh, some of those signs you know to really lead you here Although the views from uh, this viewpoint are somewhat limited because the bears don't go into this area that much, but at least you can uh, take a look at our waterfalls. And here uh, you have very close up view to the bears that, oh, okay, yeah, see, it kind of works. So you have close up view for the bears if they are um, just playing uh, with this little rubbing pillar, which they uh, do from time to time. So uh, that works pretty well now. Um, this leads you to the area that is uh, more classic style and we have uh, this uh, nice font from, um, all right, I need to, I need to put this to the description because I once again forgot to write it down, but definitely thanks for the font because it's nice and I will put a link in uh, the description to the workshop item. Um, so we've made this uh, classical uh, little walkway with uh, nice views to the Flamingo Lagoon and uh, this uh, little viewing um, round shelter that took me quite some time uh, because I'm so bad at classical styles. I'm still learning. Um, I think this looks like um, not totally awful, uh, but uh, it's, I mean, is the best I can manage. So I will put this on the workshop uh, if you like it, but uh, I <laughs> don't have high hopes. Um, anyway, uh, we branched out the river uh, to here to make more like um, uh, calm water, you know, but uh, for some reason the flamingos like this one. I should add some, you know, more like uh, flowing rapids in here, I guess. Uh, to make it more obvious that this is flowing river and this is a uh, more calm water and you can uh, also you know you see lilies and uh, the stuff that does uh, grow usually in the calm, calm little corners so we do have some enrichment items and overall I think this looks pretty well uh, we do have some cascade of waterfalls and um, as a bonus I'm gonna show you later in uh, this episode little tutorial on the waterfalls lily um, I think it's easy to get them, but in order to make it look good, you just uh, need to do uh, things in a certain order and I'm, I'm gonna show you that. But uh, let's, uh, let's see more. So this is more of an overgrown, just, you know, filling the gaps with uh, some foliage. It's pretty dense, but it's okay. I like it this way, but on the other way, we made like made planters with um, really uh, foliage that is uh, taken care of and I think that goes with the classical style very well So if you follow this path down, there's the exhibits in the ruins uh, We have basically cut off the ruins area in here, which is uh, also fine I think we have enough of ruins uh, So we do have a little bit of a 
uh, foliage in here, uh, the dense foliage to make the transformation into the classical area. So it's not like completely you are stepping from another world to uh, the different one. And uh, this uh, path and walk away that uh, leads you slowly, you know, up. I have added those uh, education boards in here. Let's uh, get some uh, sun shining into them. Okay, that's better. Oh, we do have some issues though. <laughs> Let's pause it for a second. So um, this is of an idea I've got on the Postly server, Discord server. Uh, somebody was making those. Uh, but they were quite big and I decided to make a little spin on it. I But I copied uh, the idea of uh, the content of uh, these uh, little boxes. You know, they are pretty tight to what is on uh, those education boards. So, for example, here we have a, a B population decline education. So you can read here uh, what, what is it. And this is a little diorama, you know, to show something about that. So um, this is a population fragmentation. So we do have these little two pandas separated by the road and obviously deforestation. So some locks and uh, pretty much sand pit. So I think this is uh, just a little filler of this area. So the walkway isn't just completely barren and uh, nothing around it. And we will uh, definitely push onto here to create some uh, entrance in the next episode not sure if we managed to sneak in one more animal we will see about that but uh, everything is uh, pretty much in order from this point of view to close it off we do have a couple of issues and uh, to be done either way we still do have the Montebello top area to work on we do have some, uh, you know, to be done in form of, um, if you look at the map we have initially done in uh, this area and this entrance, it's pretty much incomplete. It's been a while since we've done that and I haven't done any <laughs> new items in here. So uh, that still waits for us. And uh, yeah, this little corner I filled with the uh, water and uh, some foliage. So that is completed but we definitely need to work on our signs because right now all the new areas are missing from the sign uh, from the sign so yeah this is a llama picture and toilets nothing for the bears um so a lot of stuff to be you know like finish in order to really propel uh, this zoo to uh, the uh, completed one but uh, that will uh, wait for the next episode and um, yeah, tell me what you think about this flamingo area if you wish to do so. Um, I really do like it and uh, I'm honestly quite, uh, quite happy that we managed to sneak in a different theme in, uh, to our zoo, the classical one, because enough for the ruins, enough for the uh, tropical forest. This is nice change up just, you know, decently, not to overdo it. And uh, you will see about the entrance. That's probably going to be different word as well. Um, I do have some plans, so uh, be ready. And now let's let's do that little promise tutorial for you. So we are going to make a very little waterfall right in this area. So obviously the first thing first, just prepare the terrain. You know, just do a little step if you want just a single uh, waterfall in here. Create a little step in a terrain. You can just uh, adjust flatten to foundation on uh, the top and on the bottom. And uh, that's pretty much it. Then you will grab barriers and we want glass barriers because glass barrier is uh, almost invisible if you cover it with the rocks and uh, it has the advantage that it works as a water barrier. It is uh, watertight. Yeah, that's the water. It is watertight. So we are gonna create a little water barrier in here, in a place where the waterfall is going to be. So don't uh, hesitate to grab it like this and make it um, at least the way that the ends are where the top of your water is going to be. So we will add just a little bit more like this. Yeah, that should work. Now we can uh, select the little barrier uh, 
a barrier section and we will change to the flat top and editable bottom. Now grab the poles and uh, push it down if that's possible just to make sure that you can lower it enough because there's a certain height of a barrier that you cannot uh, go less than that and if you just push down the poles you will uh, submerge it to the ground and you can lower it uh, much more than what would be possible if uh, there's a flat top or a uh, undulating one so okay this will give us a barrier basically the point where the water is going to break down from the top now we will make the water in the top one a river um, I think that should be possible okay yes do we have the correct height yes we do have the correct height that we have selected and in the bottom um, obviously we will add water as well for now I will just pull this up so we can create some uh, little lagoon in here this will give us bottom of our little waterfall now that you have the water in you can grab the barrier and lower it down as much as you can to the level you see if I submerge it below the water level it will go red so I will push up until it is until it is blue okay you do have some issues in the bag here <laughs> I will get back okay with that sorted out uh, we can continue so we are going to go to the construction and uh, grab ourselves a uh, little special effect the uh, water one and we are gonna go for the top first so we are gonna select waterfall top five meters now let's unpause the game so we can uh, see and uh, face it the correct way um, I think this is the correct way to face it let's press X and uh, we can uh, micromanage the exact position and I suggest you position it at the top of the barrier like this it should work and uh, let's just make two of them like this okay uh, keep your arrows and then select what it's called waterfall midsection five meters yes and at that exact position you can get your waterfall coming down so we will build that and one more to the right let's build that once again we keep the arrows let's just select the waterfall bottom five meters and let's push it to the bottom to the level of our bottom so like this yeah da, 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 maybe a little more this is a little tricky and uh, push it out a little bit so you get the effect of water falling down like this okay and one more let's push it more towards the waterfall and that's it we do have our a uh, little waterfall of water the effects we have them down we can add even some rapids if you wish to wish to have them in here oh no rapids okay sorry sorry it is rapid foam yeah we just need to turn it the other way okay yeah we can add some uh, some of those rapids to uh, really make the water flowing from the waterfall like this yeah that's fine and then we will just cover up all of this with some rocks so uh, we will grab the nature uh, we do have some filter for this so we have tropical rocks and um, now uh, grab the flat one ideally and uh, press V to align to the surface and just uh, spam some of those and then once you have this done you can play with it some more but we just want to cover the glass with some rocks and then um, it's basically freestyling so um, I'm gonna grab this big one make it onto here maybe I don't know whatever you wish to do so here just uh, grab some rocks and uh, fill this area with rocks to make it look like really the water is uh, falling on the rocks and uh, then once we do have this done we can add uh, some more rapids in here so uh, let's finish this a little bit you wanna you might wanna uh, cover these ugly nibbles with uh, the rocks with the top of the rocks like I just did 
here okay um, yeah that's fine let's uh, maybe one or two more rocks in the bottom here really just to cover this up okay that should work and then we will go back and select now we can select the rapid splash uh, do we have it okay like this uh, on the other side and fill it between the rocks so we do have some splashes of the water where the rocks are like it's breaking over the rocks we can add one more all right and then here okay um, just feel free to fill this as you uh, feel you like it and uh, obviously some foliage so we will select common reeds just submerge it down so we can have some okay maybe smaller ones so we can have some uh, of those growing in here and here in the like depth spots in uh, where the river is not really flowing that fast and uh, you could do the same in the bottom just onto the sides like this and uh, some water release maybe whatever you like um, you will cover a little bit better on the side but uh, uh, as usual um, the foliage and the rocks works well if you want to cover up basically anything but there you go and I think we managed to create some uh, nice waterfall in uh, basically 10 minutes so um, there is your tutorial and uh, you can have this in your zoo pretty easily it's um, not that complicated right so that's probably it for today as you can see we do have one more waterfall to make here and uh, that's pretty much it I once again I will release this uh, to the workshop as an uh, episode progress so uh, you can review you can you know look what I've done and how I did it um, I will release these dioramas to the workshop as well if you like them and um, guys um, have a nice day and uh, definitely come back for more next time and uh, yeah goodbye